Hey everyone, welcome to the introduction section to my latest project called Syzygy, as in the conjunction of opposites. Basically, this work came together over the last few months, just mulling over ideas and reading books and trying to find a central theme to bridge it all back together. Um, it sounds kind of unorganised in a way, but it's just the way I, I like to work when I'm doing these projects, is to go off and look at loads of different things and then try and find a way to integrate it all. Um, and it allows me to make creative leaps in my ideas, so um, I think it's quite useful. But um, at the same time, it's very difficult for me to write anything at all because my idea is continually changing. I mean, I will read a new book, for example, and it will give me a new perspective, and that will lead me down another thread of, of thought, and uh, off I go. So it's like Corey Anton said, you know, perfectionism is the devil. You know, you have to find perfection in imperfection. And I've just had enough of, of writing this stuff now. I just want to get this video series done and, and walk away and do something else. But um, at the same time, it makes me realize how saturated we are with information. And we're so saturated with information that we cannot process it. We cannot integrate it into our knowing. Um, the analogy I have is like a graphics card, for example. You know, when the graphics card is overloaded, then the frame rate drops. It means that it's losing data. It means that it's not able to process all the data to model its environment um, at, the, at, the, at the frame rate it should be operating at. And we're in the same situation because our reality is becoming more and more symbolic, more and more abstract. You know, um, I will I will do this video, for example, and I will reference other people's works, but the references that I'm taking from other people's works are are becoming smaller and smaller, more abstract, more symbolized. And you know, it's like even now when I publish this work, it's uh, it's just going to be consumed and forgotten, and it becomes another symbol. You know, it, it, I mean, obviously you can extrapolate where this is all going, and it's going to transhumanism, which is something I've written about on my blog and on my website. But yeah, it's like information is just slipping through our fingers. It's like it's it's like it's actually um, dissolving us in a way, because we we cannot keep up with the amount of information that our culture, that our technology is creating, and that's that's the media we have today. It's almost like we're losing. Uh, it is, in a real sense, like we're losing contact with reality because it's becoming more and more abstracted, more and more fabricated and symbolic. And of course, you know, you can read, uh, you could read McLuhan, and you could read um, uh, Baudrillard, and, and you know, I, I find their ideas very relevant um, with regards to to this progression. But um, also, my own experiences too with like psychedelics. You know, it's. Uh, it, it's it, this whole simulated reality and, and, and fabricated psyche that, that uh, seems very prevalent in my experiences. It's, it's very Gnostic in a way, but at the same time it's not, because Gnosticism is a dualistic um, cosmology. And uh, that's, that's one of the things that I'm trying to, to get people to think about, is the dualism in their worldview and, and how to, to see beyond that. But anyway, I'm, I'm majorly waffling now, and um, yeah, so watch the video and, and see what you think, and if you have any questions or comments or ideas, then, then let me know, because I'm likely to be going back to China very soon, um, but I um, hope you enjoy it, and um, I guess I'll speak to you soon, bye.